Hello everyone, my name is Michael at michaelstutorials.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to create an authoritative server um, almost instantly with UMMO, a fantastic network asset for Unity 3D. So I've got two things here, I've got a basic scene, just a cube, um, I've got all the UMMO stuff in here, it'll instantiate the game object, um, and I've got my prefab for the player with a basic controller script. I'm going to add a little th something to it. Three more things. Horizontal. Vertical. Like so. Now I'm going to just go ahead and do a quick build and run to see what we're going to be creating and then I'm going to go ahead and remake it basically. And there you go. Of course my player fell through this, the cube because he was, uh, it spawned a bit inside of it. So let's go ahead and try that again. Needed to be above. Okay, there you go. A basic authoritative server with UMMO and the players working. Of course, I ran off the screen. Um, but let's go ahead and give this a try, see if we can figure this out. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and delete this prefab, and we'll delete this script. Right-click in your scripts folder, or whatever folder, and call, create a new script called Player Controller. It doesn't have to be called Player Controller, but that's what I'm going to call mine. Open it up. Let's go ahead and get to work. Now, there's only a few things you have to do for your scripts to work with the UMMO. Um, and it's mainly to do with input. So let's go ahead and create another public float. Move speed equals four. Oops. I'm not going to add sprint this time, but we need a public character controller. Controller. Public transform. My transform. Um, in here we're going to get our transform and controller. Controller equal this dot game object dot get component greater than less than character controller that will find the character controller in our player prefab um, and then my trans equal this dot game object dot transform um, uh, hold on a moment. Okay, I am back, and now in update, we're going to call our movement method. Movement. Just like that, and now we're going to create that method. Public void movement. Now in here, we're going to use if yummo net object instead of input dot me parentheses this dot get axis vertical greater than zero we're gonna add parentheses around this all besides the greater than zero and we're gonna use right next to it mathf dot absolute um, add your curly braces and then we're gonna add another if statement mathf dot absolute greater than zero inside that mathf dot absolute umo net object Uh, me this dot get axis horizontal greater than zero curly braces and there you go now I'm also going to go ahead and fix this for me um, forward movement rotation my trans dot rotate In here, we're going to add zero comma umo net object dot me this dot get axis horizontal. Right next to that, we're going to add times move speed comma zero, just like so. Now that's good to go. Now we're going to do controller under forward movement dot simple move new vector 3 
like so. In here we're going to do my trans dot transform direction parentheses vector 3 dot forward times move speed times um, input oops I'm sorry umo dot me this dot get axis vertical just like so and then I'm going to show you how you can make this run only on server or client. So in here, add if umomo.get.architecture to compile equals um, umomoarchitecture.client. Then anything in there will be called on the client. Um, else if umomo dot get dot architecture to compiles equal to umomo architecture dot server um, then anything in here will run on the server and we're also going to want to call movement on the server just because if it's not called on both movement can be a little glitchy um, but one thing I can tell you that you don't want to call on client would be animations you only want to call that on server um, so yeah Let's go ahead and test that out. That should be good to go. Let's go ahead and try it. Um, let's go ahead and see what errors we have, if we have any, which we do. Um, does not take one argument. Actually, we're going to get rid of new vector 3. And just like that, errors go away. Good to go. Um, we need to create a new prefab. Go ahead and create another capsule. Um, go ahead and add our script to it. Add umo net object. Now this script allows you to do many things, um, which it basically allows you to sync all your scripts and such on the server, and it allows you to put things on the server basically. Um, and we're going to handle scripts based on situation. So the scripts we want to handle on situation would be our player controller. We want that both on client local and server. We're going to parent this to our um, character and we're going to drag it under so it's parent. Um, and then we're going to add this main camera to client local. Um, and then that should be it. As long as you have your input to check, um, you're good to go which we do and now we need to add two more things we want simply lerp which is a network view serializer mod what that does is it basically makes it so that no matter what your ping is um, to the server you will move so smoothly that it's unbelievable and I can vouch for that because it is unbelievable um, we're also going to add this one gradually update state as soon as I can get it there we go now we can save that go into UMMO. Oh, we can actually save this as a prefab. Just go ahead and drag that into your prefabs folder. You can delete it now. Go into UMMO, the game object, um, and drag this under... Where is it? Oh, right here. Player character on authoritative setup. And then we can go ahead and test it out. Build and run. Build and run. So the build will be a server and the um, editor will be client right now because I have it set to Unity Editor's client and build a server. So let's go ahead and play. And there is no animation attached to the capsule. Um, I can fix that really quickly if I just go in here and add more animation. Um, and I'll just rebuild that. can be very specific about what you have and don't have on there sometimes. Um, which is actually good. You're supposed to be like that. Um, give me a moment. Okay, I figured it out. Um, what we need to do is instead of grabbing the net object serializer mods, um, the network view serializer mods, I mean, um, from the hierarchy we need to grab it from our project folder so we'll go into net object and then it should be this one this one yep good to go now go ahead and build and run
Okay. And there we go. There is no character controller. Well, that's a mistake on my part, but you can see that it's working. But if you want, I'll just go ahead and add one really quickly. And we'll just test it out one more time. Now it'll work. There we go. And as you can see, we're moving all as well. Of course, you can tell that it seems a little glitchy, um, but that is because of the camera. So if I was to go ahead and take that off, if I was to add this in here and go into it, find capsule, drag that into the scene view, apply this to our prefab, take, there we go, that like so. And now go like this. Save that out. Test it out. I'm going to actually make this the server this time. So build and run. So as you can see, oh, hold on a minute. I might know the problem. In our script, we might not want to call this in client with the network vserializer mods. So let's go ahead and try that again. actually seems more like the network vserializer mods are conflicting with each other. Um, so let's go ahead and set this to just one. And now let's build it and run it. That's better. As you can see, now it's really smooth. All is working. And that's perfect. Absolutely perfect. And now if I was to open another one as .exe. You can see that I will connect with another player. All is updating well. We now have an authoritative server with a basic player controller. And some cubes and capsules running around. <laughs> Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this, and please, do pick up this asset. It's an amazing asset. Highly recommend it.